<laughs> Hi, I'm Joni. And I'm John. And I'm a bike enthusiast. And I'm a car enthusiast. And this week, we We're are only, only riding, riding bicycles. bicycles. Welcome back to Broadway Biker, the channel where I fuse my two great loves, music and cycling. And this week, we have a very special guest on the channel. We have John! Hi everyone. <laughs> May is, well, I don't really know what it is, like National Bike Week Month. <laughs> Something. I'll, uh, whatever it is, I'll put it on the screen. But May has something to do with biking. And that's great. So we thought it'd be really fun if we collectively bike everywhere for a week, um, which is not out of the ordinary for me, but is out of the ordinary for John. A little bit. On average, how many times would you say you bike like a week? A week, like over the past year, I uh, zero. Zero, zero times a week, amazing. So we're going from zero to seven. <laughs> so wherever you are on your bike journey, um, be comforted by the fact that John is maybe also starting at a similar place that you are. So, John, do you want to tell us about uh, a little bit about your history on two wheels? Back in the day, I used to, to race on a collegiate team, road cycling, uh, so I was very much into biking, biked a lot, uh, and then just uh, kind of fell off the wagon. So commuting and stuff I think is going to be a very big challenge for me because normally I like the convenience and the time saving uh, that automobiles offer. I think that it's the experience is going to be fine. I don't think it's going to be great. <laughs> this is where I'm starting this as, a, as a zero biker. Uh, I don't think it's going to be great, but I don't think it's going to be horrible. So, without further ado, are you ready to bike, John? Yes. Frick yeah! Bike week! You and me are off on our first adventure of the day. Um, I've been working on music all morning long and now it's time to get groceries before lunch. But right now we're riding with no rear fender because uh, I can't find one yet. I gotta modify one that will fit the brake. Or maybe this bike doesn't have fenders. And no front or rear rack. I'm thinking maybe this bike has a front rack but I haven't figured that out yet. But I've been having a ton of fun. I'm really inspired to ride this bike. Um, it's so fun having a single speed. It makes me excited to go out and ride every day. So we're rocking the old school backpack lifestyle, um, just like I used to before I got my Surly. Um, and we're gonna go buy a ton of groceries and it's gonna be great. So let's go. Commuting on the Barracuda for the last like month or two months has been super fun But in times like this I remember Why I am such a fan of having racks on bikes <laughs> John how's that first how's that first day of biking going for you? That's great. I just am napping after a long mental bike. Yeah <laughs> Yeah, yeah you've uh, really been out and about today Figuratively, yes. Figurate, wow. Wow, the luxury of working from home. <laughs> Luckily, I got a rehearsal a little early because I forgot my lights. So all is well. Um, we got home before it was too dark. And that's all I have to say. Great first day of biking. A little cold, but that's okay. It's, uh, it's April. What do you expect? Oh, 
All right, so I'm about to go off on my journey to get groceries. Got a pair of jeans, some Nike shoes, old kind of semi-rain jacket, technical thing, helmet, sunglasses, backpack, and uh, that's about it. We'll see how well, uh, oh yeah, we got a pair of cheap gloves. We'll see how that does, about 40-ish. Partly sunny and uh, a wee bit windy. This is day one, although it's technically a Tuesday, so day two for Tony, day one for me because I didn't bike yesterday. Got uh, new handlebars, I made it like a, a one by type thing up in the front. We got the a rack, this actually rack is uh, meant for the front, but uh, it is what it is. We'll see uh, how well it goes going to the grocery store. Probably should have wore a hat. It's a little cold. But it's nice out. So I just got groceries. My right ear is really cold. This is the setup I got going on here. See that? Uh, heavy things in the rack and then bread and chips in the backpack. I get hit by a car here. Overall, so good. Uh, only two things that I'm worried about in the rack are a uh, thing of spaghetti sauce and uh, some coleslaw. Overall, good. Today was a great second day of biking. Um, still a little cold, but honestly, the sun made it so worthwhile. So, big fan on this end. So, I just rolled into the office. It's, uh, was it 9.20 ish or so? Uh, it took me maybe about, I don't know, I'd say like 15 20 minutes to, to bike to work. Uh, super cold out, but all I had on was. This dress shirt, that same black jacket as yesterday, a pair of gloves, and then this time, a uh, neck warmer thing. All right. And honestly, the wind was a little rough, but sunny out and uh, feeling good. I definitely get, I run hot. I run very hot. So this was, uh, I, I dressed cool because it's about 30 degrees out right now. I uh, will see on the journey home when it's supposed to be about 50. All right. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful today that I decided it's road bike day! You've never met this bike before, um, but I do own a road bike. I got it when I still had bike shop perks um, and I was leading group rides. Uh, and it's so fun, sometimes I forget I have it in the winter, but <laughs> it's road bike day! So, I'm currently biking home right now. It's uh... Pretty warm out. My thighs really hurt though. We're bad at buying things. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like going places and Joni doesn't like spending money. So it's a perfect combo. We go a place but don't buy anything. And then we're both unhappy. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> we were gonna buy chicken wire and then I was like, I can't pay $25 for chicken wire. So then we didn't get any chicken wire. We biked up a big hill. It was horrible. No, it but was okay. at the end, at the end, it was fine. You did all we get right. to go down the hill now. Now we get to go down the hill. All right, it is a long day. It's almost 11 p.m. Actually, I think it's past 11 p.m. <laughs> And we are finally biking home. I worked a video for an opera tonight, super fun, and now we're finally on our way home. We are 
are off on a wee little adventure to just pick up a couple of random things that I need. It's a beautiful, balmy 50 degrees, and I'm just loving it. So I just wanted to talk about a few things regarding bike commuting and how to really succeed if you want to try your own commuting challenge. Um, the first you might have noticed is that I wear a lot more fabric sometimes than John does, and that's just because I know I'm going to be more comfortable. I basically just try and make my biking experience as if I'm in a car. That means I got a warm face, I got warm eyes, I got warm hands, all that kind of good stuff. And then I'm just a really happy camper. Another thing I wanna to touch on is just how adjustable bicycles are. If you have a bike that you wanna try commuting on and something doesn't feel right, Chances are you can adjust whatever that something is. It could be as simple as moving the seat post. Maybe you're just adjusting the angle of your handlebars. Little things like that can really, really, really make a difference. If something doesn't feel good, poke around. Um, ask your local bike shop, ask the internet, see what pieces you can change or swap out or adjust for little to no cost to make that bike work really, really, really well for you. always bring enough snacks. That is all I have to say today. I'm gonna go eat. <laughs> pretty good. I, I feel good about it. So now I'm just off on uh, another bike to, to work and we'll see how that goes. started out not willing and it had its ups and downs but uh, I'm actually pretty happy with kind of where I am now. Definitely will continue biking. Perhaps not as much as, as being forced to do it for everything but overall yeah I think this is this is what I needed to, to, to start biking more. What was one of the most surprising things for you for this whole week? The most surprising thing was definitely the sort of ease the ease of just being able to, to take the bike out, not have to really worry about where am I gonna park? Mm. Uh, as long as you're not going a place where there's a ton of people, it's just, it's easy. What would you say the hardest thing for you was just cold turkey switching to biking? Hardest thing for me was the inconvenience of it. It's so easy and so simple to just put on your work clothes, get in your car, and then drive directly to, to work, park, and you're good to go. You don't have to worry about getting sweaty. You don't have to worry about, you know, getting covered in road debris. I think if there were actual facilities to, to be able to shower off and put on your work clothes, that would be a huge thing for me if there were actual facilities, you know, at the office for that. Mm -hmm. uh, and another thing is just the, the time. That was one of the things that was definitely difficult. I really had to plan out when I was leaving for things to make sure that I wasn't stressed in trying to get there on time. Yeah, so with commuting, 
and like having to look nice, right? That's a huge potential barrier that might stop a lot of people from commuting. Um, some things that I think are really cool and helpful that exist in the world, one of them is electric bikes, right? Obviously not everyone has financial access to electric bikes, but like our city and many other cities have um, rideshare bikes that are electric. So freaking cool, right? So you still have to pedal that thing. This is not a motorcycle. It's not just gonna go for you. But the sweat factor and the like, I am wearing nice clothing factor, just like, and time factor, freaking plummets. So if you're a fancy person or like have a thousand dollars laying around and you really want to try bike commuting but maybe you're like john and you work in an office or something like that electric bike is literally your best friend they there are also a lot of companies that make like active like fancy wear i don't know what to call yeah, them de there's definitely been like a emergence of active suits and yeah. you know, like machine washable suits. I've been getting totally. ads for those all the time. They know you're by game. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I would honestly say the biggest thing would be bring a change of clothes for what you need. Could be shoes, pants, shirts, etc. Another thing you could do is you could do halfsy halfsies, right? So you could put your bike on a bus, bus part of the way, and then bike the rest of the way in. Or like bike to a bus, get on the bus, put your bike on the bus, or train, or whatever it is. Yeah, you can do you your car. You can or your car. car! Slap your bike on your car, go drive halfway to work, bike half in, and then you just park your car on the street, or wherever, you bike back to your car, and then you just drive home. What was the funnest, or the easiest part of this for you? When the weather was nice, and I wasn't in a rush, that was kind of the best part. Like, it was a sunny day, or partly cloudy, and moderately warm out, you know, 50s-ish. Yeah. That was kind of the, the, the best bit. Yeah, I definitely say setting yourself up for success if you're just starting out. Maybe you like look at the forecast and you see that one juicy day and you're like, that is the day. I'm gonna bike on that day. And then just hold yourself to it. Just get your butt on the bike and go. Yeah, I think the hardest day, you know, kind of building off of what was the easiest, mm -hmm. what was the hardest one? And the hardest one for sure was, I think, a few days ago when it was raining, I didn't have any food and I had to go to the grocery store. Having to bike up a massive hill in the rain was not something I looked forward to. You know, without having this sort of required to bike every single day for seven days, uh, not being able to use a car was basically the thing that I needed to, in order to actually go bike. Like it would have been so easy to just get in my car and drive to the grocery store real quick. But after I got my groceries, after I got home, it felt good. <laughs> it felt good at the end of it. I, you know, as, as odd as that sounds to say, it was, uh, you know, I felt like I accomplished something and I, and I proved to myself that I was able to, to, to do it. And I think that was the major turning point over the week. I think if that experience didn't happen, I don't know how much I personally would have been motivated to continue biking uh, after this week was up. There is something about overcoming a physical and mental challenge that feels really good. Were there any things that you had on your bicycle that you were like, yes, thank God I have this, or like, no, oh my gosh, I wish that my bicycle was this way or had this thing? Yeah, I wish my bicycle was significantly lighter. Here's one thing I want to say for you all regarding that, is that start somewhere, right? Any You can commute on any bike, and the perfect bike commuting bike looks different for every single person. And you probably don't have your perfect bike commuting bike right now. You might, but you also might not. So just start somewhere, right? I, I really agree with that, is that you, know, you gotta start somewhere, just whatever, two wheels you have that are cobbled together is a great place to start. Yeah. Any other things that you want to talk about, about your experience? Things that like someone who's interested in bike commuting that doesn't really know where to start might find helpful from your experience? Yeah, I would say find an easy task to do on a nice day where you don't have, you know, a lot of pressing concerns and just go out and try and enjoy it. Being able to, to have a tangible benefit 
to finishing uh, a singular bike commute is, is probably one of the best places to start. Totally. Yeah, pick a good day and then stick with it. Pick it, stick it. That's, <laughs> that's my advice for you with bike commuting. Pick it and stick it. <laughs> Another thing you can do is choose like one place you go a week and bike there. Somewhere nearby, somewhere easy that I normally drive, but I could bike, I'm gonna try biking there. Just pick a thing, try it, see what you think. So at the end of the seven days of our challenge, we have a challenge for you. So for the inexperienced or new bike commuters, just like me. Yes, we love you. Our challenge for the month of May is to complete a simple task two times. Just like I said, going to the convenience store, going to a grocery store, or to the bar, or wherever. Do it with your bike and test it out. Test the waters, make it a nice day, and just try and do it and accomplish that simple task. For more experienced bike commuters, <laughs> my challenge to you is to help encourage one person in your life to try biking somewhere. It could be going on a ride together, it could be going to a restaurant, it could be maybe someone has a question about bike commuting and asks you. Be that resource and help encourage one person in your life that is able to get their butt on a bike. If you do either of these things, um, please leave a comment below, tell us about it. Or if you want to make your own video of your experience, tag me at Broadway Biker on YouTube, point in the comments, whatever, um, so we can see what you do for your challenge for this month of May. It was fun, it was grueling, it was challenging, it was at times horrible, but at the end, it was a lot of fun and very rewarding. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm so proud. So that's kind of the end of it. We've done our challenge, now it's up to you two. Get, Get your, your butt, butt on, on a bike. bike! See you in the next video.